And ladies and gentlemen, we are off, and it's looking pretty darn good. We're on Needle Planet S, and we've got up in the top right-hand corner as the Blue Zerg is going to be Sasquatch, and it is going to be a mirror matchup as we go into game at number two of this Loser's Bracket round of two. Down in the bottom is going to be his opponent. In the red trunks is a Populisk, and uh, Populisk and, uh, and Sasquatch have an interesting game number one. Um, Really, the upgrades that he was trying to get did not really save Populisk. Um, I feel I feel bad for him at the same token. Um, hey, there we go. It helps if I actually have some non-technical difficulties. There we are. And so uh, yeah. at the end of the day, yeah, I know, hey. And um, at the end of the day, it uh, it appears as though things are going to, well, start off somewhat slow. But, I mean, with that first game, uh they both kind of went down the same path, which is kind of cool. They both took it easy, and uh, Puppy List with that fast expansion, very, very early in the game, very risky. But um, I don't think he really capitalized on it as much as he could have. Uh, I think with the Roaches, he should have waited off, but like you said early in the game, this is that he was trying to stagger his Roaches forward to try and stop those Evolution Chambers from being uh, sniped down and losing those upgrades. But at the same token, it was just too little too late, unfortunately, and... Uh, and Sasquatch recognized that he had an advantage and just pressed it until he won. Yeah, Sasquatch really played very well. He was definitely behind after that opening and managed to come back with some great attacks and some great unit control afterwards. I was, I was very impressed with that. Uh, but in this game, Populisk is doing a similar thing. He's gone for Hatch first and, uh, and Gas before Pool. Excellent. And Sasquatch says, okay, you did something last game. You you were greedy, and I didn't punish that. And I, you know, just in case, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go really crazy all in or anything. But I'm also gonna hatch first. Uh, but instead of getting gas before pool, he's getting pool first, just to be that much safer. Yep, indeed. Uh, I guess Puppy Less Like lives dangerously. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, it's gonna get scouted quite quickly, actually, as this Overlord is in position and does see that it is. Uh, that the hatch did go down first. I'm sure that he's just comparing his timings. I mean, heck, he probably doesn't even compare them. This guy has played a lot of games. He plays in a lot of tournaments. So Sasquatch, seeing this, knows what he's dealing with. Knows he knows that there there is nothing close. He's going to be concerned, though. He wants to know whether or not the gas was taken first or whether or not the pool was thrown down first. And in his particular case, he took the pool second, which realistically isn't uh, one too much of one or too little of the other. Uh, because of the gas being taken a little bit later here by Sasquatch, he's going to be a little bit slower in being able to get that speed upgrade. As we do take a look over in Populisk space, we should see the uh, the spawning pool uh, go for that speed upgrade shortly. There it goes, indeed. And so uh, he's going to have that speed upgrade a little bit sooner. And unfortunately, it looks like Sasquatch is going to have to wait a little bit longer for himself to get that 100 uh, gas that he's going to need to start that upgrade. And once he does get there, he should uh, also start that upgrade as well. Still waiting for him to do it. We'll take a peek, quick peek shortly. That being said, he is transferring some workers on down and also at the same time uh, just starting everything looking very normal at this particular point in time. Just everybody kind of playing safe. Nothing too, too crazy just quite yet. Yeah, this uh, Sasquatch still hasn't started his speed, and that's a little bit odd. I'm not sure what he's doing with that actually at all. That might actually just, that looks kind of like a mistake to me. Um, I can't I can't figure out what he might be doing with that. But both players kind of pulling guys off of gas for uh, at least the time. Populist has placed guys now back. This is because he wanted to moderate his gas income and then make and then make plays based on how much gas he had coming gas. So if he wanted to do bailing pressure, he moderated his gas income by pulling guys off. And then once he has enough money for the bailing nest and the bailings, that's when he knows that, okay, now this is go time. But uh, still no gas, no no uh, speed for Sasquatch. And he's instead, he's just holding the gas and going up to four queen. This is very weird. So four, if you do a four queen build, you normally don't have gas at all. You skip gas at all, uh, completely. So this may be Sasquatch trying to fake somebody out into thinking that there's gonna be aggression, but I, I think that may be that may be lending too much credit to something that that to me looks a little bit just kind of like a mistake. Um, he's now put guys back in gas, so he'll at the very least uh, see that he's got uh, more gas than he expected sometime soon. And he's got a pretty good wall up at his front, so any pressure that Pavelos wants to do, in fact, the pressure that's coming right now, six banelings, those are going to come in and crash into a wall. They won't be able to break this. No, and they're not going to take any units along with them. There's a good number of queens here. There's also spines on the way behind. Okay, they do get through, but uh, and they're going to go straight up and into the main for the most part. Additional ones are going to show there's a stream of units flying through. Populous, very aggressive 
this early on in the game. There's a queen on the high ground also helping out. This was mopped up very quickly. Yeah, and as an in immediate response, uh, Sasquatch says, I just held that with pretty much zero losses. I'm going to go to go ahead and go to a lair. So if we took a look at the Harvester's tab, there are 33 to 28 favoring Sasquatch. And the uh, army supply is is pretty much dead equal. But Sasquatch is going to have roaches, so any further uh, any further lane aggression will be thwarted, any either further bane lane aggression will be thwarted by the roaches. Uh, and back at home, Puppy Lisk is aware. He's going to throw down two evolution chambers. He's going to throw it up, and then uh, probably, probably I'll we'll see Puppy Lisk go for a third base and one one melee upgrades before a one air. That's what I would bet. Yep, absolutely. Uh, just taking a quick peek. Um, everything looking very stable out front. Like you said, roaches are going to produce out and out here. Uh, that being said, I do see melee attacks as well as carapace upgrades being researched here by Populus. That will give him a bit of an advantage, but that is a long way out. It is at least another two minutes or so before that's going to finish. And that quick little poke there is also going to re reveal the fact that he's going to have a very hard time breaking through this front door of Sasquatch. Sasquatch in a very commanding lead position as it sits right now. 30 uh, stand corrected, 39 to 43 workers, so there's not a huge gain there. Looking at the army supply side of things, it's 24 to 9 in the favor of Sasquatch. Like, and it's starting to show in the, uh, in, in the up at the top right-hand corner in the unit supply. It's 75 to 52. Uh, it, that just basically speaks volumes as it sits right now. So, uh, Production-wise, missile attacks are also being researched as well as glial reconstitution, so he'll be able to move very, very quickly with those roaches. This is going to be a very big roach timing push, I think. He's going to hit when that uh, missile attack upgrade finishes and he's just going to continue to crank them out and you can see four more in production more are streaming across the map and starting to pull up underneath this overlord and uh, lings uh, look like they're going to engage these four maybe be able to get a good surround on them yes they do um, I think those particular roaches are going to check out yeah I'm not sure that I'm a fan of sending out those slow roaches with no upgrades but until you get plus one slow uh, lings without without any upgrades if you just fine against roaches but Sasquatch isn't going all in or anything like that he's going for it there he is going to be producing some roaches to hold off his opponent because it knows his opponent is so ling heavy but uh, he's going to go in and try and prevent that third from being a knife but he might miss his opportunity that third is getting dangerously low yeah I think he's going to have to cancel yeah there it is so that's a big win for Populus. Populus has his third already more than halfway done, so he's feeling pretty happy there. Infestation pit going down for Populus. He's going to be playing this double upgrade Ling and Fester style. This was a style that was popularized in Wings of Liberty by several different people. Uh, a big community guy was Blake. He helped popularize this by making guides about it. Vortex was a really big guy that actually showcased the style in top in tournaments and even taking games off of Stefano with his style. But in Heart of the Swarm, it's really important to remember that there's uh, that investors do not have any fungal. And that may be the difference right now. But actually, uh, there's a big engagement at the front of Sasquatch's face. A bunch of Zerglings are going against a bunch of Roaches. And that's, while while you may have better upgrades, it's not really going to work out for the, best, uh, for the best of your game because you're going to end up quite a bit larva behind. Because while you may deal enough uh, economic damage to be equal, he is way, the guy with the Roaches is way more larva efficient. Oh, absolutely. They do so much better damage, and they do have now better upgrades. 1-1 one, one upgrades having completed here for Sasquatch, plus 2 immediately starting uh, after the plus 1 missile attacks have finished. And uh, as you can see, he's just having no problem dispatching these Zerglings. And it looks like he's about to make a push on the front door. There's nothing here to really help take care of that. And it uh, looks like a, what few units are available on the map are actually just uh, going to take tech away at a couple of loose units. But for the most part, it looks like these roaches are going to go up into the third and enact some revenge and maybe even be able to drop it. There are some zitlings showing up, but there's just not enough here to really shut this down. More roaches are reinforcing. Eight more roaches are being produced as we speak right now. Uh, Infestor is jumping out, but immediately getting sniped as well. So that's a huge loss. And Puppylisk giving a big GG. And Sasquatch is the victor. Looking very, very good. Taking a very clean 2-0 sweep in this loser's bracket round two. Um, what do we got up next for Sasquatch? I'm not certain, but what I do know for certain is, is that Puppylisk will not be advancing. He will be going home, unfortunately. It, it's, it's, I have mixed emotions about when you see a guy lose, eh? What about you? Yeah, I mean, I, especially for people like for big weekend tournaments like this, it's a big deal for people. They, they save up some money, they fly out there, or they drive out there, depending on if you live closer than me. And, uh, you know, and they invest a lot of time, they invest a lot of passion into this, and it always sucks to see somebody get knocked out, especially in the earlier rounds. And and somebody like Populous, he's a very, very talented StarCraft II player. He's a high-level Zerg player on the North American ladder, definitely a grandmaster player. 
And unfortunately, he's he's going to be sent home. And I, I think this is losers round three. Can you correct me if I'm wrong? Uh, I believe it is losers round two, actually. Oh, losers round two. I mean, that's even worse. Going home in losers round two does not feel great. Poppy Lewis has been playing. I mean, obviously, he got knocked down to the to the losers bracket. He played people that beat him, and he's went up against Sasquatch, who was a, who was a known North American fixture, and he got knocked down again and out of the tournament. And so it's not like he lost against people that, that he, you know, I, well, I'm really upset that I lost to this person. So the players that he lost to were great. But you're still bummed that you're locked, getting knocked out so early. Yeah, absolutely true. Uh, the same token, though, we are going to take a short break. Uh, we may come back. We're just going to go over the brackets in a little bit. I just want to cue that all up and get it ready for you guys. And um, we're going to just go over the winner's bracket and the loser's brackets really quickly, see if there's any notable things that would really surprise us. Maybe have a quick discussion about it. We do have a little bit of time before our next series of matches. Uh, do you know who we have coming up next? I think we do have our uh, our next bunch of players. I'm looking it up right now. You give me just a second. And I've just taken I it. don't have it. <laughs> no, it's not been released to us, unfortunately, just quite yet. So, ladies and gentlemen, when that comes available, we will let you know. Uh, we're just waiting for that to come down. We have a representative that's on site in Anaheim at the MLG Spring Championship. And once he gets the information, he basically passes it on to us. And that way we can update the overlays and provide you with good commentary, good information, and also keep you up to date is exactly what's going on. There is a moderator in the chat. His name is Grimmy Man. He is dumping in piles of little links and trying to keep control of you little buggers as i'm sure you're causing them lots and lots of work but at the end of the day he is there trying to give you guys all the information with regards to mlg spring championship ladies and gentlemen my name is nightshade and i'm joe and we'll see you back here after a couple a uh, couple commercials <laughs> 